Greek mythology's mythical creatures Cerberus. In the darkest depths of the underworld, a monstrous creature known as Cerberus stood guard, the fearsome watchdog of the realm of Hades. With three heads, a serpent for a tail, and a mane made of snakes, Cerberus was a creature of unparalleled ferocity and power. Born to the monstrous Echidna and the giant Typhon, Cerberus was destined to become the guardian of the underworld. From his birth, he displayed an insatiable appetite for destruction and an unrivaled loyalty to his master, Hades, the god of the underworld. Cerberus' task was to ensure that no living soul would escape the realm of the dead. He stood at the gates of the underworld, his razor-sharp teeth and claws ready to tear apart anyone who dared to approach. His monstrous presence struck fear to the hearts of even the bravest heroes. Legend spoke of the Twelve Labors of Heracles, a hero known for his incredible strength and courage. His final labor was to capture and bring back Cerberus from the depths of the underworld. Recognizing the immense challenge before him, Heracles embarked on a perilous journey to fulfill his destiny. Guided by the god Hermes, Heracles ventured into the underworld, facing treacherous paths and encounters with vengeful spirits. As he approached the gates of Hades, Heracles was met with the daunting presence of Cerberus, his three heads snarling and his venomous tail ready to strike. With his lion skin cape and his club raised high, Heracles faced Cerberus head on. Using his superior strength and cunning, he grappled with the beast, his hands locked around its three throats. Cerberus fought ferociously, biting and clawing at Heracles, but the hero's determination was unyielding. Despite the creature's immense power, Heracles managed to subdue Cerberus, overpowering his strength and binding him with unbreakable chains. The mighty beast, now under the control of Heracles, was led to the realm of the living. When Heracles presented Cerberus to King Eurystheus, who had assigned him the labor, the king was overcome with terror. Recognizing the sheer power and savagery of the creature, Eurystheus pleaded for Heracles to return Cerberus to the underworld, fearing the havoc he could unleash upon the world of mortals. Moved by the king's plea, Heracles released Cerberus back into the underworld, knowing that his presence was essential to maintain order and balance. As the gates of the underworld closed behind him, Cerberus returned to his post, his three heads ever vigilant, ensuring that no living soul would escape the realm of the dead. From that moment on, Cerberus became a symbol of the underworld, representing the boundary between life and death. His terrifying presence served as a reminder of the consequences that awaited those who sought to challenge the natural order. The legend of Cerberus lives on, a testament to the indomitable will of heroes and the unfathomable depths of Greek mythology. His fearsome visage continues to capture the imagination, reminding us of the power and awe that mythical creatures can evoke. Cerberus, the mighty guardian of the underworld, stands as a testament to the enduring power of myth and the boundaries that separate the mortal realm from the realms of gods and monsters. Thank you for watching. If you like this kind of video, please hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video.